Peace and blessings to the 12 tribes of Israel. Today I'm going to deal with a reaction video called Led by Children. So this is an extension or a part two of the first video in the series called Leading from Behind. Leading from the blind. So this video is a, a mother who has a, I believe it's a girl. It's a little girl. She, I think she's only about eight. And the mother is saying that the little girl is getting upset because she wants boy, boy things. She wants to dress like a boy. She wants boy stuff. And she's very unhappy that she was born a girl. She gets very unhappy and the mother is appeasing her unhappiness by actually buying her things that are, are typically associated with boys, right? So I'm going to go through this. It's a short video. So it's just like a little clip. I'm going to go through it, hopefully give some edification. Now, I don't know. Uh, this lady and I don't know about her I don't know her personally and I don't know her child personally um, but however uh, I'm just going to go on the things that she's saying and then hopefully you'll be able to get some gain some edification from it let's talk about Dexter um, tell us your story when I mean Dexter was originally born as Talia is that correct Talia as Talia mm -hmm. as Talia, yeah. as Talia. Um, when were the first signs for you and more importantly Dexter that maybe he was in the wrong body. So it started at roughly two and a half. Um... Now, I don't, I don't really want to be stopping this video too much, but there's so many discourses in this video that it, 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 you just can't help it but to stop it, right? So first of all, she's appeased her daughter by saying, oh, she's not Thalia anymore. She's now Dexter, right? So... You've now changed her name from a female name to a typical boy name, right? That's crazy. Then now she's saying this all started from when she was two and a half, right? Two and a half last time I checked, you're still a child. You're still a tiny little child. You're like a toddler, right? <laughs> you don't know anything. You can barely speak, right? But anyhow, let's carry on. I can't remember exactly because mm -hmm. obviously it, he's eight and a half now, so it feels like a very long time course, ago. But yeah. um, it, it's not like he walked. I think this is the common misconception with people. He didn't walk up to us at two and a half and say, I'm transgender. Mm -hmm. I was born in the wrong body. It started off with a real protest about wearing knickers and wanting to wear boxer shorts. OK. So, um, so fine. I just bought boxer shorts. No big deal. And then he was just heavily into Marvel, superheroes, Avengers, that kind of stuff. Um, and again, it's just clothing. So I have a childcare background. I've been a nursery nurse for 28 years. I just kind of let children lead. And I just thought, where's the harm? If you mm. want to wear a Hulk T-shirt, you know, oh, completely. Of, I think yeah, go that's for it. Now, she's saying that the child is now eight and a half and she lets her lead the way. Now, you cannot let a child lead the way because you are the mother. You're supposed to be leading the way because you are the grown up. The child is the child. Uh, she, the, meaning her, her daughter, wanted boxers instead of uh, women's underwear. And she said she bought it. She doesn't see the harm in it. Again, you're the mother. You're supposed to steer the child in the right way. Then she said, oh, I oh, get involved in Marvel and, and Hulk and all the rest of it. Again, I don't see anything wrong with it. Again, you're supposed to be the mother. Not the child, but the mother. Not the child's best friend, but the mother to steer the child in the right way. She hasn't been doing it. You see, let's continue. I think people would totally get mm. that, you know. I mean, I was saying to Rochelle earlier, when I was younger, I used to love putting my mum's big flowy skirt on and spinning around because yeah. it was like the parachute we used Absolutely. to play with at school. But and why is that wrong? Exactly, Ben. I'm and not saying not that wrong. is wrong no, no, in the slightest. Know, yeah, but um, where was the line where this turned so into wanting to wear knickers? I thought it was a phase 
become... I just thought, oh, it's a phase. And I was a tomboy growing mm -hmm. up uh, pretty much till I was about 30, to be honest. <laughs> um, Right, the presenter, it, the, the presenter is is echoing what she's saying. He said, "Oh well, I, I like dressing up in frocks. I don't see the problem with that." And then she said exactly the same thing. Right, I don't see the problem with it either. You know, it's just the phase. I I thought it was just the phase. I used to be a tomboy. But anyhow, let's hear more of it. So I was never a girly girl. So I just thought, oh, he's a tomboy. You know, that, or she's a tomboy. That's fine. Um, and then it was actually my friend Kathy in the States that had been going on for sort of 18 months and she said, do you think that she could be transgender? And I just said, oh no, it's just a phase. We're just not, you know, we're not making a big deal out of it. Let's just go with it. Um, well, that's kind of what you do as a parent, because obviously you want, to, you want to support your child through anything. And, and we're told, aren't we, to just go with it. Whatever it is in, in mm. life, all the different milestones, they will find the way, just let them take the lead. I Again, let them take the lead. We are being told that, that you should let the children take the lead. You cannot let the children take the lead because you are the parents. You were given those children so that you can take the lead because you are the parent. The children are not the parent. They need you. At least for the first 20 years, they need you. Especially when they're tiny, they need you to lead the way. Not the children leading the way. You need, as the parent, need to lead the way. And you cannot follow culture today to say, oh, well, that's what we've been told, that you let the children lead the way. You can't let children lead the way. That's not how we're supposed to be. And what's the point of having you then, as the parent? Very much. I mean, I'm a childminder, so I'm very child-led in my job and in my home life. And I just think... Actually, who is he hurting by <laughs> wearing, you know, boxer shorts no, and, and no, so-called boys clothing? I mean, you know, without going too far the other way, I think we have gone a bit mad that we gender everything. Yeah. Um, but, you know, why can't girls like Batman and why can't boys like unicorns? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, be, be true to yourself. And all I've ever wanted for my children is for them to be happy. Now, all fairness... Uh, none of these people on these videos are proclaiming to be Christians, followers of Christ, or, or, or claiming Bible verses, Bible scriptures. They're, they're worldly people, right? But these videos, I decided to put these videos up because it's important that people in general see the difference between a fleshly, worldly way of thinking, which is the, the modern day culture, which is we're just going to go with the flow, what, what the culture dictates that we do, right? In, in opposed to what God himself, the creator, is saying what we should do. Because if we follow what our flesh is saying we should do, you're going to have these problems. But if you follow what God is saying, then you're not going to have these problems. These problems are going to be cut down. Why? Because you're doing it the right way, you see? She keeps saying, oh, well, I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, boy, her wearing boxes, I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, I, why is everything gendered? Uh, everything is gendered because there's a difference between men and women. Men and women are not the same. We're not wired the same. We don't look the same. Women have periods. They go for a menstrual cycle. Men don't. A woman has a vagina and a womb. Men don't. Men have a penis and balls. There is a difference. So for, 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 every, for every parent, every parent completely. Yeah, absolutely. But where was that line, that I moment think... where we went, this isn't a phase, this isn't the fact that she enjoys wearing boxes mm -hmm. and enjoys Marvel, she's when actually she a said, boy. When she said to me, um, Dexter's never been a sleeper, so he, um, he is awake quite a lot in the night for several hours. Mm -hmm. Um, and he used to say to me in the night, why did you make me wrong, mummy? Why did you not make me with a willy? Okay. And at four years old, you're not taught to say uh -huh. that. That's uh -huh. obviously something that comes from within. Um, and he used to say to me in the night, why did you make me wrong, mummy? Why did you not make me with a willy? Okay. And at four years old, you're not taught to say uh -huh. that. That's uh -huh. obviously something that comes from within. 
And that's really heartbreaking, obviously, when you're sleep deprived as well on top yeah, of that. Of um, so that was really, really hard. And so for you realising it was, it's bigger than that. This is not, um, because like I say, I was a tomboy. I wanted to be a boy, mm -hmm. but I never felt like I was a boy. I wanted to play with all those boys' toys and but I never ever felt wrong in my body. I knew I was a girl. Mm -hmm. And it just meant when these things kept coming up, like he would put a willy on his Christmas list. That really? was the top oh, of the thing. Me. Right. And I thought, this is not just your tomboy. This is something else going this on here. This is different. Here. She keeps calling a girl a boy. She keeps saying he. This is an eight and a half year old child. I mean... <laughs> This is just the weirdest thing ever. I mean, if it's a grown up and then the person is grown and says, well, well, I want to, it's, it's, it's a man. And he, well, I want to be associated as a woman. I suppose you can understand that out of respect. You'll say, OK, you'll call a he a she right out of respect. Right. Or the other way around. You'll call a he a she or a she a he. I'm getting confused myself. <laughs> right. But it's a child. She is. He is, I'm getting confused. The she, the child that is born a she, a, a, a ch the child that is born a she should not be called a he because it gets even more confusing because now the child is now growing up thinking, oh, that her femalehood now is manhood because her parents keeps calling her a boy and keeps treating her like a boy so therefore she grows up thinking i am a boy so when she grows up and she becomes a grown person she all of her life she's been treated as a boy even though she was born a girl so that's going to be very confusing okay so let's go to a simple basic scripture and hopefully give you some edification so we're going to go to proverbs 22 Six, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart of it. So if you train your child like the way how you want that child to grow or to grow up, then when he he or she is, is grown, they would not depart of it. So if you if your child grew up in a drug den, most likely they will grow up being druggies or at least drug dealers, right? If you brought up your child in a pub or a bar, right they're always in the bar you know more than likely they'll grow up with a love for drink right a love for drink and a love for the things that goes on in bars right <laughs> if you smoke around your children and your children see you smoking like all of their childhood you know even when they're babies infants you're smoking around them more than likely they'll grow up if you don't kill them off that is if you don't kill them off before their time uh, they grow up with the urge to want to smoke, to emulate what you have been doing, right? Because they've been seeing you doing it all of their childhood. So it's a natural thing for them to pick that habit up, right? So it says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he would not depart of it. So your environment and the way you are raised, it, 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 especially if your parents are raising you in the right way, you will grow up the right way. But if your parents are not leading the way, then you will grow up the wrong way, right? So if the children are leading, then you'll grow up the wrong way. And your environment has a lot to do with it as well, right? So this is what Christians are dealing with. Now, this lady in this video, uh, indeed all of them in the video, they're not claiming to be Christians. They're not claiming to be Israelites. They're not claiming the Bible. You know, they're worldly. Right. So therefore, their thinking is very worldly and, and they probably in their heart of heart thinking they're doing the right thing, but they are not. Right. Or this lady is not. Right. So. There's that. And also what I have to say is if you're a Christian and you're lukewarm, this is why the Lord said he's going to spew you out, because if you're Christian, you call yourself a Christian or an Israelite or Bible believer and you're kind of one foot in and one foot out. Right. <laughs> soon as something comes up you're quick you're quick to take the side of the worldly then the lord said he's going to spew you out right because he he rather you be hot instead of just lukewarm or cold he rather you be hot for him all the way in for him not like part way and then when trouble comes you take you take you go the same way the world goes 
or, or when challenges come, you say, well, I don't know anything about God, or maybe he doesn't exist, you know, <laughs> the Lord doesn't like that, he likes your faith to be strong, he likes your belief to be profound in him, you're all the way in, and not like part way in, or all the way out, so you've got to be hot, can't be lukewarm, lukewarm Christians are abomination in the most high's eyesight, right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it here, brothers and sisters, I hope you're edified, shalom.